So guys, the question that we are going to solve today is this merge intervals, and this question has been asked in so many companies. And today we are going to learn two different approaches for this question. So make sure to watch it till the end and save this reel right away for quick revision. Now let's see the second approach. In the second approach, what we are going to do, we will not be using two passes for doing all these operations. We will just use a single pass to do all the operations. Okay. So what we are going to do first, we will sort the intervals based on their start time. By doing this, all the closest possible intervals will come together. And after that, we will be having an answer list to store all the merged intervals, and we will compare if the current interval, for example, if I have one comma three in my answer list, okay, and if I am here, I will check if the current interval is overlapping with this one. If the current interval is overlapping with this one, we will extend the end value. We will extend the end value to the max of these two. So one comma three, two comma six. So six is the maximum. So it will become one comma six. And if the current interval is not overlapping, we will simply add that. Okay. Now I have one comma six in my answer list. I will move ahead. Now I am here. I will check if this interval is overlapping with this one or not. How to check that? I will check this value with this one, with the last one in our answer list. Okay. So eight is smaller than or equal to six? No, it's not. So this means this interval is not overlapping. So we will add it to our answer list. Okay. Now this is the last one in our answer list. Now I will move ahead. Again, I will check if this interval is overlapping with this one or not. How to check that? I will compare this value with the last one in our answer list. Okay. So 15 is less than or equal to 10. Condition false. So this interval is also not overlapping with this one. So we will again add that. So in my answer list, I will be having this. So the same thing we are doing here in the code. What we are doing? First we have a list. Then after that we are sorting the intervals based on their start time, and we are doing only one single pass to do all the operations. We have start and end, and what we are doing? We are checking if the current interval is overlapping with the last one in our answer list or not. If it is overlapping, we will update the end value to the max of these two. And if it is not overlapping, how we will find that? See, we will compare the start value with the last one in our answer list. If it is greater, then it means it is not overlapping. So we will simply add that. The same thing I told you here in my answer list. I when I have one comma six. I was comparing that with this one, so this start value is greater than this one. So these two intervals are not overlapping. So in that case, we will simply add that in my answer list. And in the end, we are converting the list into a 2D array. So that's how we can solve this question using these two approaches. And the second one is going to be the most optimized and cleanest approach because here we are just using a single pass. So I hope you got the logic now. Make sure to save this reel and try to do dry run by your own and uh, share this reel with your friends. And I will see you in the next video with another DSA concept.